In the last tutorial on pure data, we looked at send and receive objects, and that was giving you an extra layer of abstraction. And layers of abstraction are really good in pure data, especially when your patches or canvases become very, very complicated. So let's look at a different type or a different method of abstraction as well, which is to do with sub-patches. So I've got an example here right in front of us, and if I just move in there and run this patch, we can see roughly what it does. It's just giving me... Uh, it's just giving me different random uh, frequencies and it's putting it out to the speakers through a DAC object. Now, let's presume that I've decided that this is a little bit too complicated, that I want to hide some of this away in a sub-patch. So what I can do is I can create a sub-patch by creating a new object. The key to making a sub-patch is just putting the letters PD and then we name what the sub-patch name is. So, I'm going to put in subroutine, but you can name any different uh, type of label on that. It's just completely up to you. Um, and as soon as I click off that object, it creates a new canvas. And if it doesn't, if you're working on a different type of system, a Linux or a PC, you might need to just double click on it. But that opens up a new canvas where I effectively have a patch uh, that is encapsulated inside this object in my first patch. So I'm going to create some of this extra complication here. I'm going to cut it out of here um, and I'm going to bring it into my subroutine. And I'm just saying that this subroutine is really just generating random numbers between 0 and 1000. And back in my main patch I'm going to move my PD subroutine object in where the original random numbers used to be. Now you will have noticed that on that PD subroutine object there's no inlet and there's no outlet. And I can fix that easily if I just go into my subroutine using the objects inlet and outlet. So if I click in here and type in an inlet object, as soon as I type in an inlet object, you'll see back in the main patch that an inlet automatically props up at the top of this PD subroutine subpatch. And I can link that in there. And then I'm going to create an outlet object as well. And as soon as I type in outlet object and click off it to create that object, you can see an outlet gets created on that PD subroutine back in the main patch. So that inlet and outlet, what that means is I have now a connector that will flow through this sub patch. And from the outlet will flow out from the outlet of that PD subroutine uh, object in my main patch as well. So I can see it's flowing through really nicely there and it's just creating an extra layer of abstraction and taking away some complication from the main patch. Now, in actuality, in reality, you'll have a, a lot more complication probably hidden away in that sub-patch, but just this is just an example. Just like we were dealing with the send and receive objects in the previous tutorial, any time that you want to deal with signals, uh, you might have to change the inlet and outlet objects and just put a tilde after it. So for example, if I go back to my main patch and I want to take this oscillator out of that main patch and hide that away in my sub patch as well. So there's my oscillator. I'm going to fit that in here just above my outlet and push that through. That won't join on to my outlet at the moment because my outlet isn't geared up to deal with the signal. And you can see the actual uh, control in that the, um, the console giving me errors there in the background. So if I wanted to generate or to deal with the signal, uh, I need to put a tilde at the end of that. And now it will, or it should, connect. That's fine. And now I'll get a signal coming out of there, just as if it was coming out of the uh, oscillator object and again I'll turn up my volume and it works exactly the same way and again that's how to deal with uh, sub patches in pure data and just to give you one last example uh, a famous example that we'll be dealing with in a later tutorial the touch OSE patch uh, which is dealing with a mobile phone a smartphone and having a control pure data we'll see here there's lots of extra different areas with lots of slider bars and things like that uh, that map onto the phone, but these are all sub-patches. And if I right-click and open any of them, we can see a lot of different complication in those sub-patches there. And that's typical of the different types of pure data sub-patches that you'll see in different examples around. Uh, so anytime that you're looking at tutorials or examples uh, on the pure data website and you see PD, object with some kind of label after it, that means that that is a sub-patch. And if you want to 
open it up, just right click, click on open, and you'll see what's going on in the background.